Item number SCP-331. Index Tumbles. Object class Safe. Special containment procedures. When not being used, SCP-331 is to be kept within a typical electronic seven-digit metal safe in Dr. X's office. The code is to be changed on a monthly basis by Dr. Personnel who wish to examine SCP-331 must ask Dr. for authorization beforehand. As of SCP-331 is worn by SCP-331-1. Description SCP-331 is a red plastic cat collar, approximately 23 centimeters in length. Metal studs surround the collar in intervals of 1 cm. Testing has confirmed the metal to be nickel. The bell consists of stainless steel electroplated with 24 karat gold. Ringing the bell has no distinguishable effect, adverse or otherwise. The word tumbles has been painted on the back of the collar in yellow paint. Testing has confirmed that there is nothing unusual about the paint. SCP-331 exhibits no abnormal tendencies when worn by a living cat. When SCP-331 is fastened around the neck of a deceased cat, hereafter SCP-331-1, SCP-331 is resurrected with no initial adverse effects. The collar does not halt the decomposition process, however. Fur and skin still rot at a regular pace. Organs are unaffected by the decomposition process. Testing has yet to determine the exact cause for this. SCP-331-1 shows no signs of distress during the decomposition process. SCP-331-1 can be killed by conventional methods, whereupon it remains deceased. The separation of SCP-331 and SCP-331-1 data expunged unless SCP-331-1 is deceased. It should be noted that SCP-331-1 always answers to tumbles and has an amiable personality, despite what it was called or how it behaved pre-mortem. SCP-331 was discovered when reports reached Agent of a zombie cat witnessed around Park in Agent immediately alerted the Foundation of a possible outbreak of SCP-008. MTF was dispatched and neutralized SCP-331-1, whereupon it was transported to site after no trace of SCP-008 was detected. Upon arrival, research was conducted on SCP-331 that confirmed its properties.